what is up guys before we begin with the tutorial i just want to tell you that i have a giveaway that you can enter in order to win eight courses it's explained in this video that you currently see here link for this video is in the description below make sure you check it up so that you can see how you can enter for the competition and uh, good luck maybe you will win eight of my courses and uh, also enjoy the tutorial take care Yo, 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 what it is? People Fahi here from awesometoots.com and this is probably gonna be the last video of this tutorial series, not my very last video, of course. And uh, the last thing that is left for us to do is to add the gates and make the pumpkin move towards those gates and win the game when the pumpkin reaches them. But before we do that, go and check out the project here on Indiegogo. Link is in the... In the, in the in the description below if you cannot back it then share it maybe somebody will see it and back it up thank you very much thumbs up moving forward so we need to add the gates and i'm gonna do that by going here this is where we are gonna add our gates they are inside of our models and here they are gate fbx so these are the gates we do need to resize them so 15 15 15 X, Y, and Z on the scale, and let me now position them. Need to go here. This is the awkward part of game development where you need to position everything every single time. And let me just put it somewhere around here. I think this is okay. Just position them a little bit more. Going here, I think this is gonna be okay. This is going to be okay. I'm gonna remove these two lamps and rename this one to gates. So gates and let me go here, gate main, light left, here it is. I'm gonna turn off light left and also right or light right because, well, I don't want them to be there, okay? That's all you need to know. These are the pillars, gate main, this is the gate left, I want to rotate it, not like this, but actually on the Y axis, yeah, I'm gonna rotate it, negative 40, and gate right, I'm gonna rotate at 32, just to open them and make them look awesome, because this is the salvation, and these are our gates. But don't be confused, this is not Bill Gates, these are the gates where we need to pass. So don't go and asking for autograph, this is a 3D model, not Bill Gates. Anyways, we do need to add a box collider, so I'm gonna go here, add component, box collider, and here it is. And we do not want it like this, of course, so let me resize it on the Z. It can be resized a little bit more, I think this is... Fine, let me just go and take a look at actually not like th this is okay Maybe a little bit more point 15 or point 10 even point. Yeah point, point one. This is what we want This is okay. Let me just resize them also on the y-axis a little bit and yeah, this is it We are good to go we can tag it or we must tag it so go here under tags and create a new tag which is gonna be the gates again it's not build gates these are simply gates and tag them here as gates we can save it as a prefab so create here folder gates prefab and i am gonna put it right here drag and drop it from the hierarchy and this is pretty much it. We can also arrange these golems. Let me just go put this one here, put this one like here, maybe this one here, just to make the game a little bit harder for our ball to, or our pumpkin, even though it can go from the side, but hey, this is up to you. Don't expect to, me to do everything for you, man. That, that is not life. And we can also go inside of our pumpkin class or script or however you want to call it and copy the code here in void on trigger enter and instead of target is equal to golem I'm gonna say gates and of course you can do something as we showed or I showed you for the horizontal or vertical you can create here private variables and use them for the tags and I mean it like this so here you can create a private string golem underscore tag is equal to golem like this and use this golem tag variable instead of golem right here so golem tag which is 
efficient because if you make a mistake then you can simply go here and change it i will create a larger project but we'll see that in action because probably now what i'm telling you you're like oh, this dude he's crazy look at what he's asking but he did it like this i'm gonna do it that way because it's okay i'm just doing it like this here because only on this single place we are calling the golem and the gates but if you're gonna call it on 20 places in your code 30 or 40 or I don't know how much, then it is a good idea to create a variable and use it, well, instead of hard coding everything. I'm against hard coding, not hardcore, but hard coding. So I'm gonna hit the run button and let's see if we can beat our game. So past couple of these golems, need to go through this one and through this one and this one. And here are the gates of hell waiting for us to reach them and yeah, we did not reach them because, of course, I did not check this is trigger checkbox. And you saw that nothing happened and we did not call on trigger enter because it is not checked to be a trigger. It needs to be, it needs to be checked to be a trigger. So I'm gonna run the game again. Where, where, where is my, what the hell just happened? What did just happen? Okay, let me just rerun the game again. I actually checked the trigger or put is trigger on the pumpkin. We need to do that on the gates. Stupid, stupid. So remove that from is the... This is trigger. Remove it from the pumpkin. and I'm going to hit apply. Select the gates game object and click on is trigger on the gates game object. So... Finally, we are able to finish our game and I will not be stupid this time. So moving forward here, moving here, we passed all of the monsters, gates of hell are here and we have reached them. So if I can give you a trophy, hell, I'm going to give you here is your trophy. So congratulations on fin this, finishing this game. It's not that big of a deal, but again, it is something to start with with 3D. This is just an introduction. As I said, I plan to cover first-person shooters, infinite runners, a lot, lot more. But for that, I will also need your help. Go and support the campaign here, which will support the creation of all of those tutorials that I just mentioned. So the first-person shooter, I need to get the models. I need to get, I need to create that. It takes time. I need to live from some, I need to eat, you know. Also... I will create infinite runners. I'm going to create a lot of cra crazy things, you know. I also plan to do 2D more, probably in the next couple of tutorials. And in the next couple of months, I'm going to be only concentrated on Unity 3D because I have a lot, a lot, a lot of projects. I also have an RPG game, which is going to be crazy, which I want to create. And I'm also going to run an Indiegogo campaign for that. So stay tuned. It will not be soon, probably after half a year. But anyways... Go and check out the project, share it. Congratulations on this project. You can download everything. The link for the campaign is in the description below. The link for these assets from this project right here that we have created is in the description below. Also, you can get the project from that same link. And until next time, I will see you guys. Help me reach this funding goal and stay tuned for more tutorials. Thank you for watching and your support and bye-bye. Fire -bye. here from Awesome Toots. And I am turning off the camera now. Bye.